Sue, as the director person, <laughs> what special problems did you encounter blocking a show like Equus? Well, like a, f like a few of the people in the production, when I first started with Equus, I knew nothing about sign language. And I had never seen a sign language production in my life before. And I think that gave me a definite advantage in the blocking of Equus because I never had the opportunity to realize how many rules I actually broke. <laughs> uh, for example, people would tell me, you can't walk and sign on stage at the same time. And I thought that was really ridiculous because people do that every day in normal conversation anyway. So uh, also, theoretically, uh, in, in blocking a sign language production, the best way to do that is have a long line of people across the stage so everyone can see. But you can't do that because that's, that's boring and it's unesthetic to the audience. But you have to be careful not to block the signing from the audience. Also, when you have, when you have two characters who are in direct conflict from each other, a director may choose to have them turn their backs to each other, turn away from each other. And you can't do that because each person on stage has to see their antagonist at all times. And you have to just come up with new ways of moving people around the stage. You also, I learned that the people can really listen out of the corner of their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is you had to do, you do it very, very well, all of you. As a matter of fact, I'd like to thank you all for your wonderful precipitation. <laughs> Let's all of us watch right now as Betty Bray and Janet Catano, along with Nick Elliott and Peter Hilton, show us how four actors can create two characters in another scene from Equus. <laughs> 